Mr. Van Halen lives on this road. This is Coldwater Canyon Road, or Avenue actually. He lives up in this area. Well, up the road, this is 4,000. 4,024 or something. He lives at 3361. Should be there in about five days. 437. neighborhood. Getting closer. Well, I'm not exactly sure, but I think it's up here. Got him. There it is. That's the gate he was standing out in front of from that, from that issue of guitar player. That's probably the way to a studio. That's 3371. That's not even the right house. <laughs> My bad. I don't know if that's his house or not, but if it is, it is. And if this is his driveway, it is. If it ain't, oh well. This has got to be his place because I recognize that gate. I know I do. That's got to be their house. This has to be. Okay, so it's here. If he's driving, you wouldn't go through the gate. That's why there's cobwebs on the gate. Fuck. Tell me no he's home. Anyway, here I am standing at Edward Van Halen's gate. Well, down here at the road. Anyway, as I'm waiting, like Mr. Gary Sharon asked, well, told me to wait at the gate up, up there, two security guys come down a moment later after somebody dropped off a package for Valerie. That guy leaves, and this other guy pulls up. He just frowns at me. Well, anyway. Two guys in a golf cart come down and say, uh, "Are you? What are you doing?" Or something like that, and some kind of accent like that. Also, well, Gary told me to wait here. He said he's gonna come right back. Oh my God, they're gonna die! Anyway, they said you are going to have to leave. I have to ask you to leave, or they're going to call security. Meanwhile, Alex Van Halen drives by with a neck brace on and goes that way. But at least I can say that I found his house. I sat on his stoop and I pushed the call box. And I met Gary Sharon. So, Gary says to me, Oh, when you'll meet Eddie, and you won't meet a, a nicer guy.